Welcome back, guys, to Factorial Meiosis. This is episode number 38. 38, episode number 38. Today, um, today I want to figure out exactly how the rocket silos work. So we researched, we finished all the research a while ago. It's actually been a long time. But I've been waiting until we had enough of the infrastructure to support it to actually look into this stuff. And this, uh, actually, last time I beat the game, Factorio, last time I quote-unquote launched a rocket... This big rocket silo guy wasn't even in the game. Let me go ahead and click on that so it starts crafting. It's going to take 30 seconds. 1,000 steel, 1,000 concrete, 100 pipes, 200 processing units, 200 electric engine units. You shoot the rockets from that, and when you research rocket fuel or um, rocket technology or whatever, you get access to make low-density structures, rocket fuel, rocket control units, and satellites, and all of those are used to launch rockets but i don't exactly know how because it doesn't tell you just from the tooltip there so we got to make one so in the near future we still need to get rid of the stuff in the the original cell here this the stem cell and sort of the secondary cell the second stem cell not really stem cell but, um the second evolution or whatever we need to get rid of all the stuff, or make a new place, a, a new cell, where all the stuff like steam engines are getting made, and pipes, and boilers. So I'll probably have one kind of steam engine production area. I also need a place to make uh, electric furnaces, and chemical plants, and what's the other one called? Um, it's here. Oil refi- yeah, oil refineries, chemical plants, furnaces, and maybe even labs or whatever. Because uh, we might want that in the future. I'm not really sure. And then we'll have another one to produce all the power stuff. So probably four or five additional cells just to get rid of all this stuff. Uh, and then on top of that, we have to be making all this stuff. But I don't really know how. Oh, and on top of that, another thing. Another big thing to do is I need to revamp and expand and speed up with beacons our oil refinery area. So it's right here right now. And I'm going to completely break it down. Not right now, but... It, when I get around to it, I'm going to break it down and it's going to get moved here to where we have a lot of space and it's easily expandable. And this is going to be a good spot for it because our oil unloading is right here. I'm also need, I also need to uh, rework our barrel unloading station there. So I might move that down here as well and have the barrels go through via belts or with logistics robots. Maybe I haven't really thought about that too much. Or I might just move that whole station down here. But the reason the refinery is going to come down here is because the two things, the two cells that use um, lubricant are right here. The robo cells, the electric, the, the red engines, they take lubricant. And what else takes lubricant? Um, the express belts, those take lubricant. So that's going to be a good spot for that. All right, let's plop this guy down. The original rocket silo thingy was this tiny little... It was just a, a like a white square with text that said rocket silo placeholder. All right, there we go. Uh, let me just put down some lights real quick because it is getting nighttime. There we go. That is a big rocket silo, isn't it? I mean, compared to the size of my guy, that's a proper size. And we've got an interface rocket 0% rocket part. Okay, so it, it can make a rocket part every three seconds, and that takes 10 low-density structures, 10 rocket fuels, and 10 rocket control units. All right, and we can obviously uh, put beacons around it with speed modules. We can put modules in here as well. And what I'm not sure is how many of those it takes to get up to a certain percent, but we know we need to be making these in equal numbers. That's probably the most important thing. We'll need an expandable area for all three, but we need to be making the same amount. So low density structures is steel, copper, and plastic. Okay, that's no big deal. Rocket fuel is simply solid fuel, so that's not a big deal either. And the rocket control units, processing units, and speed module ones, which we'll probably make uh, locally instead of carting them in from our speed module area. Five advanced circuits and... Okay, so all that stuff is fairly straightforward to make. I'm wondering... Uh, so, people have been wondering and asking every once in a while, is the series going to end when we, brought, when we launch one rocket? I've stated earlier in the series, but maybe not recently. No. 
Series is not gonna end when we launch one rocket. Series is going to potentially end when I can launch a rocket a minute, which is like a benchmark in the Factorio community for having a pretty awesome big factory. You can do a rocket a minute, that's pretty good. So obviously the, the next thing to do is to make one of these things. A rocket part takes 10 of each. Okay, there's one going in, I sped these up. Each of these guys takes 30 seconds each. We're gonna have to mass produce these guys a lot. Um, but once they get produced, this is only takes three seconds, so I guess that's kind of good, I guess. And making these things is fairly straightforward. Just ten solid fuel for one. Rocket fuel, for instance. Uh, okay, how you doing? How far in are we? We're still not even... Okay, now they've drained all the, uh, the supply chests. Oh, look, they're almost done. Oh, rocket control. What did I miss here? Oh, all right, um, yeah. We got to put that in there, didn't I? So I had I handcrafted those instead of setting up a little assembler for them, although I guess a, uh, a yellow assembler with speed modules would have been actually faster. Did I ever change my quick save speed back? Oops, that's, that's the wrong one. Options, control, no, um, shoot, what am I looking for? Options and other, that's right. Yeah, okay, auto save is at eight minutes. I think that's reasonable. If I get hit by a train, I do want to not lose, like, half an hour of time. And I don't want to be, like, manually saving all the time either. So that, that works out fine. And you, you'll probably see it, like, twice an episode, so not too big of a deal. Oh, right, we got five, we got six. Cooking along, cooking with cheese. Let's go, buddy. They have been working on uh, high-definition textures for a pretty long time now, by the way. It gets a little bit blurry if you zoom all the way in, which I guess I basically never do. Are you done? Okay, there we go. So one rocket part does... Oh. One <laughs> percent. I see. I suppose I should have expected that. So we need 100 rocket parts. Okay, let's do the math then. 100 rocket parts is a thousand of each of those, right? Am I doing my math correctly? We need a hundred times that. Yeah, so a thousand of each. A thousand low density structures is 10,000 steel, 5,000 copper, 5,000 plastic, 10,000 solid fuel, uh, 100 processing units, and 100 speed module ones for one rocket. And we want to do that once a minute. Okay, now you see the issue here, I think. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I've divided all the stuff left in the stem cell and the secondary cell into four groups. We're gonna put those in four cells. I know I said at the uh, beginning of the series we're gonna make uh, like a specialized cell for every single little thing. We might do that in the end, but uh, in the short term, I wanna get to the end game. And so we're going to uh, subdivide these guys, everything that's left in this little area into four cells. We're gonna do two of them this episode, and maybe two, maybe not next episode specifically, but uh, in an upcoming episode. Okay, so this goes down, 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 to Goblin Town. And since we're crossing the road, I think we will do, have a turn here, and then meet up with this guy. Uh, so we're gonna do two this episode, two next episode, or in an episode kinda soon. Not too long, and then we have to rebuild our um, our oil refining here. And then we can start making the stuff for the rockets. It's gonna take a lot to really do that stuff efficiently. Uh, so we need to prepare for it. We don't wanna do a kind of like a halfway job, only to find out that, oh, we've gotta rebuild stuff. And uh, oh, also, um, need to finish these guys off so we can finally make the depot cell. What am I doing? Oh, I didn't shift click it. Need to finish these guys off so we can finally make the depot cell, which will actually cut down on uh, some of the grindiness for me, because I won't have to drive back and forth to resupply on things. We can have a depot cell to find all that stuff. Okay, so this guy's gonna be here. So uh, anyway, so this first cell, it's got, it got dark, didn't it? Um, whoops. This first cell is going to be the pipe cell. It's gonna make pipes, underground pipes. Uh, steam engines and boilers, and I picked this location because there's stone right here that we'll need for the boilers. So 
So this guy is probably gonna be the most simple cell I will ever create. We only need one drop-off spot that is going to be for iron. I have a feeling it's about to get dark. How did I not schedule this better? This is gonna be super simple. This is gonna be it basically right here. Although I guess in reverse. So let's just do this. This is a, a row of iron going down. Oh, actually, um, if I'm going to load them onto the this train stop here, at some point we might want to reverse this. So let's do it this way. Um, we'll have the outputs here. Let's just say if we have, oh gosh, that's too much. We'll have that in that, just trying to give myself enough room for the output. And then these guys would be here. And the input would be there. That means that this belt needs to be like this. Voila. Whoops. Uh, let's, let me put down some, some lights, and then you'll never know the difference, right? Ay ay. Okay, so let me put down some lights, and it won't matter that it's... Uh, <laughs> whatever. I, I feel impatient right now. We gotta get this stuff done. We gotta get to the rockets. Alright, so um, this is what we're doing. We just have iron going down the thing and making the stuff we need to make. You got it? Good. Okay, so this guy will be... Oh, you know what? Can I change this order? To be a little bit better. No, this guy needs to go into him. And yeah, I do, we do need two pipe guys. Okay, so first we're going to do gears. And we're going to do these every other. So let's just lay down a bunch. How many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, jolly good. Um, then we're gonna have steam engines. They are production. They're here. And then we're gonna have pipes. The steam engine needs the pipes and the gears. Everything made with iron. That's gonna come all the way down here. And autosave. Hooray. Okay, and then uh, let's see. What else we need? We want ground to uh, whatever pipes. Pipes to ground. Then we need boilers. So those take... Uh, pipes, we need a second pipe guy if we want to have this all in a line. There we go. And then, what I, what I want? Uh, boilers, there. And then uh, stone furnaces, like that. Give them all inserters. And I'm going to power it up. Oh, it's daytime already. Oh, that's good. I'm going to power it up. Substations, don't need to space the stuff uh, too finicky. Need to get some stone coming in. So let's do it like this. Um, no, I changed my mind. Let's do it like that. Where did they go? They went right there. Spin it around. Good, okay, so we covered everything with one set. And then I guess we'll just have this guy come down parallel to that. Like a so. And that's going to this guy. He only needs stone, right? Yeah, just stone, all right. So we can just do it like that, I guess. Um, do I want a buffer chest for this? For stone? I don't think so. I don't think we need it. Okay, and then he needs to go into you. You need to go into there. 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 Okay, now let's pick up all this stuff now that I've made the real version. After I laid it out, I realized uh, my flowchart version was as complicated as it needed to ever be. And here comes the iron. I don't uh, really think I screwed anything up, as simple as this one was, but you never know. Easy to overlook stuff. All right, you're getting made. Fantastic. You are going to be a bit slow until this guy catches up. Uh, I suppose, wh why not? Why not? Oh, you know what? Um, If we can. Oh, I don't have any, do I? Don't think I have any productivity. Mo oh, I, I lied. I do have some. We could make it faster if we wanted to, so why not? Okay, never mind. I can only use that there. The rest, I guess, will get speed modules because we can't use anything else. So, uh, this is totally unnecessary, but if you can spend more power to achieve the same amount of things, I recommend you do so. Okay, you're getting made. Uh, we need a lot of these because they only stacked 10, and we put them down 500 at a time. So that's five. That's not even uh, 500 fits in this chest. 
but by the time I take them all out, there's probably going to be enough backlog just in sitting in here that we could make the extra 20 in not too long. That guy is super fast. Filling up. Okay, yeah, it works. Of course it does. Fantastic. And then you'll be just plain old furnace cell. And this is, uh, we will have in this video cut in half the number of things in our stem cell. That's a... It's not that these cells aren't that complicated, but it's a necessary evil. Um, okay, so we want the output again to be on the right side. So let's just, for now, they're going to be chests. Let's just space it out. But in the fullness of time, these will be underground belts going like that. Okay, jolly good. So then we'll have the inserter offloading, the assembly machine, and that. Oh, actually, you know what? We're going to need a belt on either side. Uh, this is not quite going to work. We're going to need one of these guys offloading. And... Okay, my brain is not working. Brain's not working. This guy needs to offset to here. Oh, because... Uh, yeah, like this. So there's going to be a belt running like this with half of our ingredients. And then a belt like this with the the other two ingredients. Okay, lovely. So this belt right here needs to be um, the steel and the greens. So that is number two and number three. So we'll grab them and we'll bring them together like so. Like that. And then we'll bring this guy in the opposite direction. And we'll use that to decide exactly where we uh, we set up the beginning of this little configuration. Oops, those are all... Okay, those aren't backwards, but these are. So these guys need to mate and be friends. But we don't have room to make it super symmetrical. So it'll have to be like this. Which is fine, I guess. Okay, lovely. Uh, okay, so then that, they will be on half and half the belt. And let's just go ahead and run it down like this. There we go, all right. So that is uh, steel and whatever. So we'll go ahead and put one assembler there. The first one will be you. You're also going to need, what, red circuits. You're the only one who needs red circuits. So red circuits will just come in, I guess, from the top. Like that. We'll grab this guy the same way. And these lines are already balanced in the offloader, so I don't need to add those little, uh, I don't need to add these things. To balance them after the fact, just merging the lines is good enough. Okay. You need to be down here. And I, I will limit the chest, because we really don't need that much. I mean, just having this much on a belt is going to be a lot. And then uh, we're going to need to mine up some stone. I'm pretty sure I saw stone around here. There's a couple patches. Oh, there's one right here. Okay, that'll do to begin with. And we'll need to smelt it. Let's look at the timings. Uh, so this gets made every five seconds. We need ten stone bricks. And... One stone brick takes uh, two stone... It takes three and a half seconds. Okay, so I guess we'll mine it up here with as many mines as we can fit in here. And there's actually, um, I think there's a few other patches nearby. I think there might be one down here, which I'll add in later. But just to get this started, this should be fine. Uh, we will do this kind of thing. And I don't know if that's, uh, let's get rid of this for a second. Okay, things are still connected. Lovely. My line of, uh, like this line is... Might be unpowered if I break the wrong thing, but I try to have a, enough redundancy so that it shouldn't matter too much. Oh, I need furnaces, actually, don't I? I need to be cooking that stuff. I didn't bring any. Okay, I will have to add that later. Um, okay, so that's those two. And then we need to bring the iron, which should be the next one here. And he's all the way here. So I guess we'll, um, we'll bring him in on the other side. Let's see how much space we actually need. None of these guys need any kind of intermediaries after we make the uh, the gear wheels and the, the the pipes. 
You don't. You don't. You don't. And you don't. Okay, so this can be fairly compact then. Uh, in fact, we don't need spaces in between them, do we? I don't think so. And then later, we can manage to get them out of here later. Later. And I might move the whole thing down, actually, to be closer to here, but let's just get it laid out and then see where we have to go for there. One of them, this guy also needs bricks, so let's put him next to that guy. And then the next three, it doesn't really matter. They all have similar requirements. This guy doesn't need steel, but he does need the greens. Okay, um, so they're all going to need to output into a chest. Like that. Good, and then they'll all need a uh, an inserter, bringing, uh, pulling stuff off of that line. And then, oh yeah, this is actually not so bad. All right, so let's pick all this up. Pick all this up. I don't think I will need to uh, move it, or at least for the purposes of making it uh, fairly compact with this iron coming in at a, a reasonable place in the line. No, I want it here and there. There we go. But the outputs are kind of in an awkward position because they're not very close to the pickup spot, which is right here. What's going on here? What's backwards? You're backwards. All right, so bringing you across like so. Uh, what I could do that would be better is to move a lot of this down here, but we have room to bring them. Yeah, I don't think it matters. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So I think we can get away. I did a little bit of basic math. Let's put this belt down first. We need basically two of either. So let's do it like this. Oh, this is kind of a nice little clover pattern that can access all the belts. I've never really done it like this. Huh, that's kind of interesting. I've never done it like this. But uh, this works pretty well, doesn't it? There. Okay. Um, and let's get some power down. Oh, let's do uh, inserters first, then we'll do power. All right, so uh, iron's going to be coming here. And they're going to be picking up the iron. They're going to be dumping their stuff off. So on one side, we'll have barrels. And on the other side, we'll have gear wheels. All right, and now we do power. Um, can I do this... Where's the easiest point to put this? Maybe, is that gonna power all the inserters? It will, okay. So we will put him. That almost powers all of those guys. Let's start up here. Ah, whatever, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Doesn't cost anything to add another one. And then we'll link it up with this. Good, okay, that's all good to go. All right, I think I've got all the trains ready to go. Let's see, they're all, they're in multiple blocks. So I actually need to go to the front to turn these on because they uh, they won't know that uh, the block they're currently in has another train in it. Okay, you can go. There's the red circuit guy. He's not going very far. This guy's got a little bit of a trip to go on, but not too super far. He'll be back in about a minute. Steel cell guy doesn't have very far to go either. And the iron cell guy, he doesn't have very far to go either. I think I limited everything. Uh, but that sets up this guy as being finished, at least until we need to uh, set up the, the delivery train to take stuff to our... The once and future, possibly one time in the future, will actually exist depot cell. So down to the left, we set up a cell here. The, uh, the pipe cell that's doing pipes, underground pipes, uh, boilers, and steam engines. And then up here, we're doing pump jacks. Uh, chemical plants, oil refineries, furnaces, and uh, mining drills, electric mining drills. So that is nine things we've just removed from our stem cells. We've cut that in half, and uh, I kind of needed to do this anyway so that I could rebuild, redesign, massively revamp, and expand and make it super duper better our oil refinery area. Because I don't know if I ever even automated oil refineries um, and we're gonna need a lot of them to put in here, like way more than this. Probably at, le at least twice that. 
And uh, just going forward, it's better to have this stuff automated and in the general system. So probably next time, I'm you know, here comes uh, number one. Here comes iron. Okay, let's just watch it in action. I think I set up everything all right, but I, I might have screwed it up. Wouldn't be the first time. This this is probably one of the simpler designs I've done, though. Doesn't need to be fast. Okay, you're getting that. Looks lovely. Looks delicious. Okay, great. Um, and then here comes some more guys. Here comes some steel, which is going to get one half of the belt. Green circuits are going to get the other half of the belt. And we should have enough stuff here. Except for the furnaces, everything else should be getting made. I limited the chests to the amounts I think I'm going to want. Okay, he's operating. Uh, let's see, where can we put... We can't put these in, these guys, but we can put them here. Not in you. Okay, we might as well. Um, why not? Whatever. I got power to spare. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I, uh, I plopped down more solar panels. We're up to 40,000. Yes! Maybe I'll add about 10,000 per episode. Something like that? I don't know. It doesn't take very long, actually. Now that I have the uh, the system all set up. Oh, let's put some lights up here. Uh, one there and one there. One there and one there. Lovely. Maybe one up here. One over here. Uh, yeah, but we, uh, we cut in half all the things left in our stem cell next episode. Because doing this kind of thing is a little bit mundane at this point. And I'm ready to move on to the big bad endgame stuff. Uh, next time, we're going to rework the refining area into all of this, which might include a rework of the unbarreling station area. We need to do that eventually. And I need to figure out how I'm going to handle the production of lubricant and balance that uh, with the production of solid fuel and also cracking. All... There's considerations to be had, but uh, this guy is done. Hooray! Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll see you next time, won't we? Yeah, we will. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.